stopping by your mobile tech. Today we're going to be unboxing, or I should say tonight, we're going to be unboxing the brand new Xbox One X Project Scorpio Edition, as you can see down on the bottom of the box. And uh, I was able to get that because today at 9.01, uh, Best Buy opened up and they allowed us to pick it up if you pre-ordered it. Why? Because technically 9.01 here is 12 o'clock on the East Coast, which makes it November 7th, which was the release date. So without further ado, let's open this up and see what's inside. So I'm gonna get my trusty X-Acto knife here. Got that one. Got that one. All right, here we go. And the first thing we get to is Xbox Live Gold, good for 14 days free. That's nice. This one's for Xbox Game Pass, and this one is also for a month free. And this is a service that allows you to subscribe to Xbox and just basically download and play games at your leisure, kind of like Netflix, but for gaming. And if you notice, uh, I'm turning these face down only because they have P codes on there. And believe it or not, some people might actually want to copy those codes from the video. Uh, this is just an advertisement for the Xbox wireless controller, and the back of this one is the uh, design lab, which shows that you can customize your Xbox One controller with different colors and, and all that kind of thing. If you're into that, let's see what else we got here. This is the getting started. So basically shows you that you can have your Xbox laying down flat, or you can use the included vertical stand, and you can place your Xbox vertically. And this is just connect your power, connected to the HDMI to the TV. On the back is how to set up your controller. Again, here's your vertical stand. This is how to pair your controller to your console. And this is a check mark indicating that you're all done. That's all that's in there. Let's see what else we get. Let's get this box here. Give me a little tape to cut. Oh, okay. So this is a whole lot of packaging just to get to the vertical stand. So this is the vertical stand. This. And this would be the actual console. There you go. I just don't rip this thing apart while I'm trying to preserve the, the wrapping. That's just how I am. So I actually had it upside down. But there you go. There it is. This is the Xbox One X, and this would be the Project Scorpio edition. And uh, I don't think there's very much difference between this one and any of the other Xbox One Xs, except for if you can see here, it says. Project Stor Scorpio, Scorpio. I don't know where I got that from, but that's pretty much it. This would be your slot for your disc, and you have a USB port here, and then on the back you have a power supply, HDMI out to the TV, HDMI from your cable box because you can connect this to your cable box and run your cable box through it, which is what I like to do, and then this would be a USB port another USB port, so you have two USB ports. This is IR out, so on the front, there's an IR, there's an IR window, which is here. And if for some reason you have this in a cabinet or something, and you're having problems with the remote uh, connecting or communicating with this, you can use the IR port to run a cable out of it and place the IR window somewhere else, the receiver somewhere else so that it can get the signal. And then lastly, you have your Ethernet port. But what you don't see is what? You don't see a connect port. And the reason you don't see a connect port is uh, it is connect uh, compatible, but what you have to do is you have to buy a connect adapter. And it's not free. I guess before you could call in or email Xbox or Microsoft and they will let you uh, 
order one for free, but now you have to buy the adapter if you want to use Connect. I personally think they're going to try and phase out Connect. I like Connect actually, but a lot of people don't, and so that's probably why they're getting away from it. But there you go. This would be the console, and this would be your two passes. Here is one of them for a Game Pass for a month. This one is gold for 14 days. Easy setup guide, and you have a stand. And there you have it. Okay, so some people want to know all the technical specifications of the console. How much RAM does it have? How fast is that RAM? How big is the hard drive? So let's go over a few of those now. This console has 12 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM. Eight gigabytes are dedicated to the developers. Four gigabytes are dedicated to the system. Makes it pretty fast if you ask me. The GPU is running at 1,172 megahertz. As far as the CPU goes, there's an octa-core processor, which means it has eight cores, and that's running at 2.3 gigahertz. And all of that combined allows for this console to put out six teraflops of power. It has a one terabyte, 2.5 inch hard drive. They say it's 50% faster than the hard drive that was in the Xbox One S. There's an internal power supply, which is why you don't see a big brick sitting here. And once again, like I mentioned before, you just get this cable plug. As for the disc reader, it's a 4K ultra high definition player. I personally don't like to put DVDs and Blu-rays into my console. I have a separate 4K player for that. But for those of you that wants this to be an all inclusive unit, it does have that capability of popping a 4K movie in and watching it. It would also, for what I understand, upscale Blu-rays to 4K as much as possible. One thing that you didn't notice on here was there's also, there's no connect port on here. And the reason being is that it's connect compatible. You just have to buy an adapter. Nope, you can't get it for free like you used to. You gotta buy it if you like connect. I like connect, I'm gonna get the adapter. Um, the last thing I will say is this is also a console that you don't have to worry about if it's backwards compatible with the Xbox One. This unit, the Xbox One X, is fully 100% compatible with the Xbox One X. So much so that if you have your HDMI cable, Ethernet cable, and your power supply cable in place, all you have to do is disconnect your Xbox One S, set it to the side, set this in place of where the other unit was, and just pop the cables into the same place. It's the same cable for the One S as it is for the One X, and I think that's great. You know, you don't have to go and get a bunch of cables and reroute them, unzip them, whatever you hide them, whatever you've got going on, is just an easy swap for you. So there you have it. Again, this is the Xbox One X Project Scorpio Edition, which simply means, again, that I was an early adopter. I got it when, you know, the pre-orders first came out, so I was able to get the Project Scorpio Edition. The other ones just won't say Project Scorpio on the box, or on the controller, or on the console. Other than that, man, it's all good. I'll see you guys on there. My gamer tag is Bad Out of Hell 182. If you'd like to get into some Call of Duty, I just picked up uh, Wolfenstein or some other games, let me know. I'd be glad to, to play with you sometime. In the meantime, subscribe, like, share, comment. Don't forget to leave those comments. If you like the video, you don't like the video, something I could have done differently, let me know. Until next time, you guys have a great one.